I'm going to show you guys how to install print heads on a workhorse tough automatic screen printing press. I'll show you how we did it. Coming up. You'll have to excuse the audio on these first clips. I was using my iPhone and for whatever reason, the iPhone just doesn't capture audio as well as the camera. But I think you'll get the point. Let's dive into it. I'm in the midst of installing the last arm. I thought I would show you guys exactly how one of these print heads is installed. Before I installed this head, I bought some new airline and I'm going to use this tape and a marker because there is a red and black line that does match up to these hoses here. We have our stroke cylinder which is the green and blue and then the red and black is the flip cylinder and then the smaller black one is the clamps for the screen, the screen clamps. And if I pull these wires out of here, or the pneumatic tubes, you can see here are the tubings. I did, over there, remove those because they are patched up. So I'm gonna replace it with some new pneumatic tubing. But because this is all black, I'm going to label one of these blacks, that way I know it will go to the black one. And the other tubing will go to the red connection. So all I'm gonna do is take this tubing and I'm going to feed it through this hole here. This is where it actually comes out. And I'm just gonna keep feeding it in until we see it come out the backside. And make sure I have plenty of room here to connect it to my stroke cylinder and I'll flip this thing over and show you exactly how this is hooked up. So I have this labeled. Next thing I'm going to do is run the red cable through, which will come from here, go out through the front just like this one. And I meant tubing, not cable, down through the body and out through the back. Now that I have the red, quote unquote, the red hose ran and the black, I have some slack up here at the front, so that way the, the stroke squeegee carriage, whatever you want to call it, can move back and forth. I'm just going to trim this down so it's not as long. Now what I'm going to do is lift this head up. I'm leaving the front part off just for the moment. Make it a little easier on me, I am doing it solo. The stroke cylinder here will actually go inside this hole right here. And then the arm will sit on top of here. I'm gonna place it on here. I'm going to use this ladder to aid me in holding it. And then we're going to connect everything up. Tuck these cables away inside the arm or either the body here. And then as you can see here, there are four bolts sticking up in which the head bolts to. You can see on this head it's already connected. These are the little caps that go on. Okay, so I got this thing almost there. You can see how the stroke cylinder goes into the bottom hole here. We are sitting on top of these two bolts here. I do have it offset just a touch so that way those bolts do not fall into these first holes and I can slide it back and then I'm going to tuck these pneumatic cables away, bring it all the way to the front and then I'm going to install my four bolts and tighten them down to 65 foot pounds. I have my cables all curled up and tucked in here. Now I'm just going to slide this thing forward, seat it down in position and then put at least one nut on in the back and then I can take it off of this ghetto rig that I am using as far as doing it one man style. One thing to note when you are sliding this arm on, you do have to move the arm up and down just to 
get past the, the front and the rear bolts. Not gonna hurt your stroke cylinder any. It's meant to flex a little bit. So I got a little hung up. I had to lower the front of this arm down, push it forward, and now it's seated in place. Now I'm gonna toss the bolts on. Thanks, ladder helper. Okay, guys, so here we are. I have every single head on the press. Got both of the flashbacks hung. Getting a little cramped in here. I'm ready to fire this thing up here in the near future. So that way I can break down this manual because as you can see, it is really tight in here right now. As soon as I break that down, everything will be cool, but I need to test this thing out first. Thanks for tuning in guys. I really appreciate it if you're new to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you're in the market for screen printing supplies or equipment. Use our promo code Mikey Designs at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. You'll get $5 off your screen printing supplies or equipment purchase and it will help support our channel so that way we can continue to make videos such as these for you. Until next time guys, we'll see you later.